It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. Folks, sometimes you just got to blow shit up. You really do. I would say not sometimes. Most of the time, if you're trying to get from the comfort zone to what I describe as the evolution zone. And today I want to share some thoughts. I want to share some thoughts about the comfort zone versus the evolution zone. And the evolution zone is where we all need to be right now. Especially if you're in an industry that's being disrupted. That, that innovation is causing havoc with. You got to get out of the comfort zone. And you got to move over to the evolution zone. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, here's some facts. Those fearful of the destruction caused by explosions will never ignite the explosives. Those fearful of the destruction caused by explosions will never ignite the explosives. But here's another fact, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately for the fearful, while they procrastinate igniting the explosives, market conditions, innovation, and bold leaders will cause a combustible explosion without them. Folks, if you know it's going to go, it's going to go, okay? You can be in control of the explosion, or you can hang around in the comfort zone, hang around in complacency status quo, and wait for the combustible explosion that'll happen without any input from you. More importantly, you'll lose total control of what's rebuilt after the explosion as well. Folks, it's just the reality. We got comfort zones, we got evolution zones. We got to escape the comfort zone. It is an absolute must because the comfort zone is an unchallenged consensus. It's a gathering of status quo. They're going to do nothing because they're more comfortable. That's why they call it a comfort zone. Over here in the evolution zone, it's a perpetual lead modification. It embraces challenges. You know, a while back I told you all that those that believe they can hang around in the comfort zone and wait till they're forced to change, they'll be okay because, well, they're really good at change management. And I said that's a really bad way to think about it in today's fast-moving world because you can't focus on being a good change manager. What you have to focus on is being a really, really excellent modification manager. In other words, you modify along the way. Think about it this way. Change management is in the hospital having surgery after the heart attack. Modification management is eating the right foods, doing the right exercise, preventing the heart attack to ever happen. People that can modify along the way prevent the need to end up in these terrible, terrible situations where they're forced to change. People that modify along the way are not afraid to ignite explosives. Let's look at this comfort zone. In that comfort zone, ladies and gentlemen, insecurities are what's creating the complacency. People insecure their place in the future. They'd rather sit in complacency with their peers that are also insecure of their place in the future and hang out in comfort. Over here in the evolution zone, insecurities create challenges. It's like a go button. I mean, folks, people in the evolution zone, when they feel insecure about something, they set goals to end that insecurity. They go after it like nobody's business. Over here in the comfort zone, well, they avoid realities. Just avoid the reality. Avoid it. Over here in the evolution zone, they face reality, folks. Everybody in there faces reality. They know that reality is what causes the need to modify along the way because reality is always changed. Right? I mean, come on, folks, right? It's almost elementary, right? Believes respect is appeasement-based and self-appointed. Those folks over there in the comfort zone, they believe respect is appeasement based. You know, as long as they don't yell, as long as they tell everybody how much they love them constantly, as long as they never have any conflicts, they'll be respected. Over here in the evolution zone, it's the total opposite. They understand respect is honesty based and it embraces conflict. The people over here in the evolution zone, they, they realize that it's really disrespectful if you know something and you don't share what you know. They think that's horrifically disrespectful, especially if they're leaders. If leaders know things and they refuse to share what they know, that's completely dishonest, disrespectful as hell. And the reason that they don't want to share what they know is because they know it'll cause conflict. And when they live in a comfort zone, they want to avoid conflict. Promoting unaccountable things, hoping for reciprocation. Holy smokes, think about our industry. Think about all those folks that give themselves awards. We got folks that literally will set up an award system so they can give themselves one of the awards. We got folks that will award people based on absolutely no merit whatsoever or no accountability. You know, and the reason they do this 
is because they believe if they give out gratuitous platitudes, then they're going to receive some. And because basically they're dishonest, they don't face realities, and they're insecure, they don't mind being awarded for nonsense or something that has no accountability. They don't mind that at all. Over here in the evolution zone, holy smokes, they have zero tolerance for gratuitous platitudes. They think it's stupid. It sucks. They're like, no. I mean, what the hell? They know that if they face realities, if they set goals to eliminate their insecurities, if they understand that to be respectful, you have to be honest about those realities and about the insecurities, and they have zero tolerance for gratuitous platitudes because they know if they do these things, if they focus on modifying along the way, they will in fact be rewarded. Ladies and gentlemen, when I think of the comfort zone, I think of a zone, an intermission-based platform. They're all an intermission. Yeah, maybe one time they were, they were really good, but then intermission happened and they, they, they never went back to the act. They're like, hey, I got to hang out here at intermission. I need a few more drinks. I, I, I don't want to go back out there. I mean, those next upcoming acts are going to be too brutal. Ladies and gentlemen, when I think of the evolution zone, I think it's action-based. They can't wait for the action. They don't even have intermission. They just go right through it. Oh, holy crap, we don't have time for intermission. We got to constantly modify along the way. So let me ask you all a question. Which group do you want to be part of? Do you want to be part of this comfort zone, this intermission-based group? Or do you want to be part of an action-based group, an evolution zone, a group that modifies along the way? Folks, I know the answer. I know the answer. Nobody wants to be in a comfort zone. At least they say that all the time. But are they going to do what it takes to get in that action-based zone? Ladies and gentlemen, I'll end it with this slide. Taking charge takes the ability to step over reluctance. you got to step over reluctance. And it's a hard thing to do for a whole lot of people. The more insecure you are, the harder it is to step over reluctance. But folks, sometimes you got to blow shit up. There is no doubt about it. And you can't just hang around. You can't just hang around when you know things have to be blown up. Because the combustible explosion will be a whole lot more painful. And everybody watching me knows this, status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo and I'll see you all tomorrow.